A new election law in Texas is creating headaches for those wanting to vote by mail in the upcoming March primaries. Now, hundreds of mail-in ballot applications being rejected in some of the state's largest counties because of a mismatch between the new ID requirements and the data the state has on file to verify those voters. Monica Madden from our Austin station details the confusion. Well, Nicole, here in Travis County, which is home to Austin, the county clerk said they initially had to reject 50% of requests for mail-in ballots, mainly due to some changes in our laws. Now, voters have to provide either their social security number or driver's license number in order to get a mail-in ballot. However, if the voter does not provide the number that they gave when they first registered to vote in Texas, their request will be denied. Local leaders Tuesday morning said that can be an issue for elderly voters who might not remember whether they used their social security number or their driver's license number when they first registered to vote decades ago. Another caveat is it is now illegal for local election officials to tell voters the remedy for a request denial. Both are issues that Democrats and voting rights activists warned about and say further highlights the need for federal legislation. Travis County officials say on top of it all, they've had difficulty contacting the Secretary of State's office with questions on one day, making 33 attempts before finally getting in touch. The Secretary of State's office, however, tells me it has been offering webinars to election officials to review the changes in our law and answer those questions. But regardless of the outcomes, political analysts tell me all of this back and forth is already having consequences in terms of voter confidence and understanding of what to do. Nicole? All right, Monica, thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.